Cluster bombs or cluster bombs or flag bombs are munitions that are dropped on the ground from the air in the form of submunitions. This bomb is used to immobilize enemy personnel and destroy vehicles targeting a large area. The use of this bomb itself is still being debated and contested, especially because of its merciless effect and leaving a lot of leftover bombs that do not explode then become bombs that can explode at any time. But that did not prevent the United States from creating the latest generation of this bomb, which was named Blue 136 NGAAW Next Generation Area Attack Weapon. July 8-24, 2020, the 28th Test and Evaluation Squadron conducted a force development evaluation to test the Blue 136 NGAAW Next Generation Area Attack Weapon operationally in the Nellis Test and Training Range. The FDE consists of a series of seven missions carried out by the 422nd Test and Evaluation Squadron. In the FDE, 10 Blue 136 were dropped from the F-16 Fighting Falcon with the aim of gathering data on the operational performance of the munition, particularly regarding the area of explosion and damage from fragmentation. The data collected will be used to determine whether Blue 136 can replace the USAF cluster bombs. The implementation of FDE proves that Blue 136 is very effective in the area denial role, and is effective against light vehicles, light structures and personnel. The Blue 136 is also capable of inflicting damage from fragmentation to enemy equipment and personnel with a radius of more than 225 feet. The test series went smoothly because the 10 weapons functioned as they should, and succeeded in meeting or exceeding all stipulated conditions. The Blue 136 has a similar 2,000-pound class bomb body to the Blue 109, and when paired with the JDAM kit the Blue 136 design changes to the GBU-31 V11. The installation of weapons and the release of the Blue 136 GBU-31 V11 is no different from other JDAM series. Blue 136 is a cast ductile iron bomb which is brittle, so it will flatten uniformly. This weapon rains metal shards on the opponent, making it a less risky alternative to a cluster bomb. The use of cluster bombs by the military has long been controversial due to the dud rate of port submunitions, wherein munitions that do not explode immediately become UXO unexploded ordnance at the location of the cluster bomb drop, which poses a risk to the post-conflict civilian population. Countries that object to the use of cluster bombs draft an international agreement called the Convention on Cluster Munitions which limits the production, transfer and use of cluster bombs. The US does not participate in this agreement, but targets in 2008 that the cluster bombs they use after 2018 should have a battlefield dud rate of less than 1%. In 2017, the U.S. Department of Defense canceled the 2008 policy with a new policy that emphasized that no deadlines were set, and the U.S. military would still use cluster bombs that are currently in active inventory until the capabilities they provide can be replaced by new munitions that are available. More reliable.